Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I want to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Quiet Meadow. And the only stamps I've used are Thinking of You, the Splatter Dots, and the Heartfelt Felt Love and Caring Thoughts with You. Plus, I used this die. One of the leaf dies. Um, to get oh, and the but the flying butterfly, which is here. Which I've already cut out because I cut it out obviously from this one, and I can use them again. Get them off this. Packet, and that's them there. sticking on paper so I'll just stick them there. The card I've got an eight eight and a quarter by five and a seven eighth uh, scored at four and one eighth folded in half card base. I've got a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths piece of card for the inside and I have a five and three eighths by three and five eighths piece of card for the outside. I want an quite a white border, big border for that. Alright, get started. We've got our front and I'm changing the colour. I'm going to be using Highland Heather. So once you've got your piece cut out, which I have, and I placed um, non-permanent runner tape on it and this one needs a bit more I placed it all over it and we're just going to stick it down whichever way it falls and that's all we're going to do there let's put this back on And we're going to get our Highland, oh, that's a bit high up, let's move it down a bit. That's better. Highland Heather ink. Let's get some scrap. Try and keep my work surface clean and use some scrap of ink. Make sure my brush is clean. And we're just going to ink up the brush. I'm using these thick brushes. And just run the brush all the way around it. Just do that a few times till we get a nice coverage. Ooh. Now, on some of these leaves, there's little holes in them, and one or two I managed to get ink in them. And one I never like this one here. I never got ink in the little holes. But I'm not worried about that. Right, I think that will do for that. As you can see, I've 
surrounded it with Highland Heather. Now we get our splatter dots and we just dotage all over the outside of the um, image as well as the inside there and I think that'll do. Lift this off Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to add the butterfly up there. I'm gonna cover this back up. going to go on the butterfly a little bit darker. See if I can do that. got a purple haze to it which is fine then with my Versafine ink I'm going to stamp thinking of you right there Now that is fine, but I'm not 100% sure I like it. So I'm going to turn it over and start again. And it will be nothing like I usually do. I'm always turning over and starting again. So I'm going to put this back on, but I'm going to stick it at a slight slant this time. And the butterfly. Remembering to put that on. <clears throat> and start again. Just as well there is two sides to the paper. Going round till I cover it all up again. Some bits on it. think that will do. It must splatter dots again and go around and dot the edges and right in the middle. And now we can come back to the Versafine. Oh, I'm gonna. Yep. I 
thinking of you, which is fine. And then we want our inside bit because we're going to stamp heartfelt um, what does that say? Heartfelt love. And we're going to stamp that there. And now we're going to stick these on our card. <coughs> First we want to burnish our card so it lies flat. I won't be surprised if this is lot as I haven't used it for a couple of days. bigger border on this put this inside right, the only thing left to do is add some enamel dots I haven't got many of these left um. And that is our card done for today. A quick and easy flat card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.